It's the AV Club's game of fantastical decision-making, Pick a Choice, where our celebrity guests compete against nobody for non-existent cash and prizes. And now it's time to meet your host, me! Hey, AV Clubbers, this is your host, John Tatey, and it's time again to play the slow-paced, low-stakes game of pop cultural decision-making, Pick a Choice. I'm joined today by our guest, I want to get this right now, Aparna Nansherla. Yes. Did I get it? Yeah. people always mess up my last name. They do? So I practiced before we started Thank you here. for practicing. Do people screw it up? All the time. What's the worst screw up you've ever gotten? Well, one time at a comedy show, the host just gave up and they said, can you just bring yourself up? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So I would say an incomplete. Well, let me tell the folks, Aparna is a talented comedian who you may have seen on Conan and Comedy Central. And her album, Just Putting It Out There, is available wherever her album is sold. Aparna, before we get started, I want to remind you that you can play this Don Q giant unquestionable choice chip at any point to lock in any of your choices as unquestionable. So that means that once you play that chip, neither I nor the home viewing audience may question the validity of your choice. That's a lot of power. We begin, as always, with round one. Two blue cards from the blue deck filled with famous names, real and fictional. Who did you get? I got Dr. Beverly Crusher of the Starship Enterprise. That's right. And Bullwinkle. Okay, the moose. this is quite a combo. We've got Dr. Beverly Crusher and Bullwinkle, the cartoon moose. And what oh scenario boy. are we going to put them in? Teaching your high school sex ed class. All right, Joel Kim Booster added this to the deck. So, would you rather have Bullwinkle? <laughs> or Dr. Beverly Crusher teaching your high school sex ed class. Two I very different so approaches. I torn. I, I know, right? Because I want to support women, mm -hmm. but I also love cartoon mooses. <laughs> Is it moose? Cartoon moose. Cartoon moose, yes. Moose. It's the plural. We'll the stipulate plural. for the audience that she is using the plural moose here. Plural moose. Oh, you're playing no, your chip? No, I'm not. Okay, I, I'm careful just now. testing it. Well, uh, Dr. Crusher, she is a, me a doctor. <laughs> right. <laughs> seemingly. Right. On the Starship from Enterprise. Her name. So I feel like she would be good at teaching sex ed. Yeah. So I would then choose not to go with her <laughs> and go with Bullwinkle. I'm totally on board. What kind of sex tips do you think you'd learn from Bullwinkle? I don't know, but I feel like he would use Rocky. To demonstrate, <laughs> that's mainly what I'm curious oh about. Oh my, poor Rocky. I know, but you know, one person has to be the top. <laughs> Bullwinkle's the top. Yeah, that's just a euphemism. Oh. Let's euphemize our way into round two then, shall we? Yes. Okay, same deal. All right, two famous names. I got Ted Cruz, okay. Penelope's brother, and a foreign tourist who resembles Shia LaBeouf. So we've got Ted Cruz or a foreign tourist who resembles Shia LaBeouf, or perhaps it is Shia LaBeouf. We don't we don't know. Okay. And the scenario they're going to be placed in is Ooh, marrying you for tax purposes. Okay, so this it could happen. Uh, maybe marrying for immigration purposes. Right, they're either. both foreign. Uh, Ted Cruz and a foreign tourist who resembles Shia LaBeouf. Who are you going to marry for tax purposes, Aparna? I'm going to say Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, and why is that? He's a conservative, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. So he's probably fiscally anti-tax. I see. So, so he's... I feel like I would get a better tax cut if I went with him. I see. Okay. I would also have more nightmares, but that's the trade-off. But maybe you'd have a happier marriage because you'd be united in your desire to give the federal government less yes. money. Have you ever met a foreign tourist who resembles Shia LaBeouf? It's quite an experience. Is that one you wrote? I did Is... write this one. I was getting off the L train one day. I don't know if they were a foreign tourist, but they looked lost, and they kind of looked like Shia LaBeouf. Maybe it was Shia LaBeouf. Isn't he a performance artist? And he's often lost. He's a wandering soul. And he was in Transformers. So he's a Transformer. <laughs> That's right, yeah. And yet, you will not have mercy on him by marrying him for tax purposes. I don't think having mercy on someone means marrying them. Okay, so you're you're not having mercy on Ted Cruz, and are you punishing him by marrying him? Yes. Okay, good, round three. 
Round three is the variety round, Aparna, and I wanted to reflect on some of the guests we haven't had on the show oh. in a game we're calling Excuses, Excuses. I have in my hand a small deck of actual excuses given to us by guests who did not show up. No, yes. but they were scheduled? They were scheduled. In fact, all of these excuses came less than 12 hours before the shoot was uh, supposed to take place. So they <laughs> didn't get their money back. That's right. There were no refunds. Oh. You must cancel earlier than 24 hours sure. to get your pick a choice <laughs> refund. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put up an excuse and you're just gonna grade the excuse. And what is my system? Uber ratings? Uh, Uber ratings, yes, Stars. that is your system, okay. STARS. Okay, here's excuse number one. His flights changed last minute and he won't be in town. How good an excuse is that to you? That's a good one. Do flights just change? Sometimes you think you're going home, turns out your journey just started. You're just on the flight and the pilot's like, hey, we're gonna go to Dallas That instead. also sounds like something that would happen to someone running away from the law. <laughs> <laughs> the flight changing? Like their flight mm -hmm. was diverted. Yes. By the authorities. Right. Maybe uh, that is like the PR spin on. <laughs> trouble with the he law. Was arrested. That's what this excuse actually mm -hmm. means. Yes, trouble with the law. Okay, and how many stars do you give that then? Oh, this is the first one, so I feel yeah. like it sets the tone. So I'm going to go with three. Three stars. <laughs> yes. Now, if that were an Uber driver, they'd be getting a call they from the Uber people. Call. Oh, yeah, for three stars. Anything less Ooh. than five, an Uber starts I to. never give less than five. You gotta. So what does Gotta that give say? five. Who gives less than five? Next one. I got slammed with <laughs> insomnia last night. Slammed with it. That sounds like it was assigned. Like your brain was like, sorry, I got a last minute insomnia <laughs> deadline I need you to hit. Does, isn't that always the way? Oh, you think you're about to go to sleep, and then your boss, boom. Yeah. Did you oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe insomnia is the latest new drug. Oh, right. She got slammed like she was like, I got so loaded on insomnia. I got slammed on I last if night. If I came in, it would get messy. Your readings of these are so forgiving, Aparna. I love it. How many stars are we going to give to this? Because of the artistic range of this one, I'm going to give it five. Oh, okay. A perfect score. You're off the hook, whoever that was. <laughs> Shit just got fucked up, man. That's what this person had to say for himself. That's so vague. Yes. That could describe even if he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he did show up and I just didn't realize Maybe it. Maybe he These... was at the elevator and then he was like, it's not working. Okay, maybe so. And what, what grade do we give this vague, could be anything excuse? I feel like I'm judging excuses on opposite of vagueness. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a one star. Okay, I agree with that one. What does that say to you? Shit just got fucked up, man. If you, what do you think happened? He got uh, what, Zika. He got Zika. We think he just had a hangover, but maybe he got Zika. Okay. This one is mysterious to me. This might be my favorite one. I'm not really <laughs> in control of the schedule. This one's big, but I love it. <laughs> Don't you love yeah. it? Yeah. It honestly seems like an affirmation, you would say in the morning. Yes, it does. You are not in control of your schedule. So anything yes. is forgiven. Are you in control of your schedule, apart? Not at all. I, you I managed have to show up here. I have in my ear right now when I have to leave. <laughs> I'm going to also give that a five. That one gets a five, yeah. Yeah. Too beautiful to give it's it anything like less. It's like a beautiful mathematical proof. Okay, last one. Last one. This asshole. I screwed up my back and can barely make it out of bed. I feel like I know who said this. Do you? I don't think you do, but who do you think said it? I can't say, both for your safety and mine. Tell me. I can't say. Because I'm sure say, you're wrong. I'm sure you're wrong. But it's this comedian who used to text me, but he would mainly text me about his health issues. <laughs> Oh, really? So what a nice totally, relationship you had. I could totally see him being like, hey guys, Sorry, this is where I'm at. My blood sugar's low. Maladies. He's one of those yeah, maladies. Yeah. Is he a hypochondriac? I think he's a hypochondriac. Okay. Actually, this is me. And what? I hurt my back. Yeah, and could, that's I had a to twist. Cancel. <laughs> it's a twist at the end, yes. I canceled on Andrew WK, who then very graciously came back. And how nice is that? You canceled on him? I canceled on him. Because I really did screw up my back real bad. Then I promise. Were you like, I'm not really in control of my schedule? I'm not in control of my lumbar Are these schedule. these all things you said? No, this is the only one, I promise. Okay. I feel weird rating it because you're right here. No, you must rate it. I don't want to. 
You must. I give it two question marks. I don't even know what that it means, but I know that Uber is going to be giving me a call. I feel very ashamed. What? Now. You shouldn't. That's why I didn't want to rate I you. I can't. I don't look at me. You know what? We're just gonna Aparna, go over here to camera three. We're gonna give you fifteen seconds to plug your new com comedy album or whatever you want. Go. I have an album. It's called Just Putting It Out There, and it's available on ear networks and streaming audio places and also my series womanhood with joe firestone previous guest uh so the winners of the first two rounds were bullwinkle and ted cruz yes. uh what a nice pair and and they will face off in the final scenario who's the, the overall all important winner. final scenario wait what does oh, this okay. mean? So, well, I have to explain this one a little bit. <laughs> Maria Bamford put this in the deck. In the scenario deck, uh, Kathy Griffin, <laughs> and Maria and I were so delighted by it, we said, let's just keep it in the deck. So your scenario is Kathy Griffin, and we just have to imagine some scenario that involves Kathy Griffin with Ted Cruz and Bullwinkle. What do you think? It's kind of a wild card. Right? Honestly, what I immediately thought of was Kathy Griffin does a lot of pop culture material mm -hmm. and she turns it over pretty quick. Yeah. So I would say is her next hour going to be Ted Cruz centric or Bullwinkle centric? Okay, I like that. So we're going to have Kathy Griffin do an hour <laughs> on either Bullwinkle the cartoon moose or Ted Cruz the cartoon moose. I'm gonna say, ugh, this is tough for mm -hmm. me. This is a tough one. I would totally watch either of those shows. I would too, but something about the idea of her being worked up about a cartoon moose is- <laughs> Agreed, <laughs> agreed. Is too on the nose, so I'm gonna say Ted Cruz. Oh, I wouldn't pull Winkle so bad. Okay. We all did. You still have your chip. You can lock this in as an unquestionable choice, but time's running out, Aparna. Do you wanna play that chip No way, I'm taking this. Okay, Aparna is taking the chip home. Ted Cruz is our final choice. He is today's winner. That's nice. It's nice for Ted Cruz to get a win once in a while. Thank you so much, Aparna. Thank you for having me. Before you leave, I'd like you to add to the deck yourself. Oh, One yes. famous name, one scenario. And let's wave to the folks. Thanks, Aparna. Thanks for watching. Thank Bye, you. Bye, everybody.